Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Sheikha Houston. Good morning, and I'm Tammy Taylor. And uh, we're going to be sharing some information with you. Tammy's going to explain uh, exactly what this will entail, and I'm going to share our feed out to several places while she's doing that. Thank you all for being with us. Absolutely. Good morning again. And thank you for joining us. As Sheikha said, we are so super excited to have you guys with us this morning. There is so, so much to the principalship that Sheikha and I recognized how mammoth being a principal, being a good principal really is. And we realized this early, early on. So we decided that we wanted to help other principals to be their best selves while improving their schools. We are excited to help because when we started, we literally only had each other and there was no support system for us to lean on. So we've decided that we want to be that support system for other principals. Our segment is bookended by two educational phenomenons. So we are humbled to be in the middle of Principal Sean Hurt and um, Principal Kafele. So we are really excited for this time. And because our time is so limited, we want to make sure that you guys also understand that the information that we are sharing with you all is really just a small part of a much larger context. We're going to be sharing tips and tidbits each week on um, different things that are related to the principalship. But we want to make sure that everyone knows that what we are sharing with you guys is a part of a much larger context. And it's also a part of a coaching packet that we offer at Create and Educate where you can get that full effect. So we're excited again um, to have you guys join us today. We're so excited to be talking with you guys about branding, the branding experience and creating that ambiance that you want your school to be known by and for. So we're going to jump right in here and try to get started with making sure you know how to create that brand that identifies you as the school that you are. So again, welcome. And we are going to go on and get started. Thank you, Tammy. Um, branding was so important um, for, for my school. If you've ever seen uh, Mr. Ken Williams talk about that school, uh, my school was that school. I'm at a traditional middle school in rural South Carolina, and there were lots of things that needed to, to change. So if you're starting a, at a school as a principal and you have to rebrand your school, there are several things that you want to consider. And I'm just going to talk for a minute about the things that I did just to try to help give you some ideas and some tips. So one thing, um, I have three elementary schools that feed into my school. So those three elementary schools are schools of choice. And the parents decided that the things that those schools were offering were important to them. So the one thing that I didn't want to happen was that when the children were feeding into our school, that what they chose for their children as something important would not be lost with them coming to our school. So one part of the rebranding was making sure that we still had a connection to those three feeder schools. So we became Chester Steam Middle School. And the three schools that fed into us were schools of inquiry, uh, which is project-based learning, uh, the Center of um, Literacy and Technology, as well as the School of the Arts. So if you know anything about STEAM, you know that um, all of those three concepts definitely fit under that umbrella. So I did have a um, young lady who is a graphic designer. She actually designed our new logo for us. I'm gonna share my screen so you can see this. Um, and our, our mascot is the Cyclone. So she took that cyclone, and as you can see, the arts, cult, inquiry, all are feeding into that cyclone. And that was on purpose to be a part of Chester Steen Middle School, where learning comes to life. So we didn't want anything to be lost. 
And we were able to use this logo to help parents visualize nothing, anything that you've chosen of importance for your child will not be lost by coming to the new branded Chester Steam Middle School. So that was very exciting to be able to do that. Um, one other thing that happens a lot of times when children come, and Tammy can attest to this, from the elementary level to the middle level, a lot of times things change with the children. So um, many times the middle school gets blamed for some of the decisions that children are making or some of the groups that children are deciding to associate themselves with. So another thing that we had to do was make sure our communications plan with our parents was important to communicate your children are going to be able to start picking their own friends. They're having more freedom where they're sitting with their own friends at lunch. It's not just sitting with the class. So, you know, some of the things that are happening is not just from the school. We've got to now start making sure we're paying different attention to who our children are choosing as friends, you know, uh, making sure we know what those conversations are about. So we made sure that we had a parent meeting every year before school started to let parents know what the big differences are between elementary school and middle school so they would know what to look out for. And I'm going to let Tammy talk about her branding process because she also had a process as well at the elementary level. I did. Um, thank you, Sheikha. The difference in what happens um, for a school that a principal coming in a uh, brand new, Sheikha had the fortune of being um, a stable in that building. So when she was going through her rebranding process, it was a part of the culture that had been built in her school because she was a part of that. Um, I was a new principal coming into a new community. So it was a little different for me. And what I had to do before I could start my rebrand was to determine what the brand was and what I had to discover. And it was just a matter of going through the process of really figuring out what is the current brand? Like wh what is our brand? And although we had a brand that was not um, something that was something I couldn't work with, it was identified with the school prior to me getting there. So we had to determine, and when I say we, we brought together my school improvement team. And the reason that I brought the school improvement team into this conversation is because many of those people have been there long before I got there. Some of the people that are, were a part of our team were newly arriving and they were new teachers as well. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to hear the voices of everyone. And so we made our branding effort a little um, more inclusive of the entire staff so that we could get a new brand that came with a new principal, new staff members, because I had a lot of turnover that happened at my school as well. So what we started with was figuring out how to figure out what our differentiator was going to be, like what's going to be different about us now. We are a standalone elementary school that feeds into a middle high school that has its own uh, mascot and logo and it, the, the two are not related at all. So it took us a little more time to figure out exactly how that was going to look for us. And what we landed on was, and this was a common theme across all discussions, we needed to be a more welcoming and more inviting school. So our rebrand included a total transformation of my front office. And we put in an accent wall, changed the um, ambience to one that was a little more welcoming. And we decided that we were going to focus and concentrate on teaching not just our children, but our staff about the purpose of being and why being is such an important thing. So to go along with being, we decided that we were going to 
embrace and adopt um, a B that represents many different things. And of course, we don't have time in this context to share all that, but it represents the being um, kind, being responsible, being lots of um, different things that go along with that, respectful. And again, that was across um, adult children, cafeteria, custodians, everybody became a part of the being process at our school. And Shika can kind of share with you, it, it wasn't anything complicated or um, any advanced technology used. We just came up with something that was going to be uh, representative of us being Great Falls Elementary School. And thankfully that has caught on. The parents enjoy it. The staff likes it. Um, our accent wall is yellow. So the colors are yellow, black, and white. And on the wall in the accent office, and we'll share some pictures of that later, but there are flowers that some teachers in the school made that makes that place a very welcoming place that we want to make sure that everybody understands that when you come to Great Falls Elementary School, we want you here. We're glad that you came and we are here to help you. So um, again, as Shika said, one of the most important things about being in your school is making sure that you create the brand that you want to be known by. We, we want to create that space that says, this is who we are. Just like at her school, the, the three schools that feed into her all have an equal space coming in there. Just like at, like at our school, when you come to Great Falls Elementary School, you don't have to feel like you're intimidated to come into the office. And that was kind of what as a staff we determined we needed to start with because that was the thing that was keeping us from being um, the school that we could be because people shied away from coming because they didn't feel welcomed at the school. So again, we want to thank you guys for joining us. I know this time goes super fast. It does. Um, but and bef before we go off, I just want to say that um, included in that, in that branding is your entire environment. So when Tammy talked about that, um, resurfacing or rechanging your front office. We did the same thing. When people drive into your school, your environment, what they see is important. Coming up the driveway to Chester Middle School, Chester Steam Middle School, you see flags that have the things that we believe in on the light poles, the, our seven habits that uh, we utilize to help students stay on track. Um, our core, our focuses, uh, STEAM lead succeed. You see that in the flower bed as you pull up in the driveway and those posters are steam lead succeed posters are also on the pillars when you get ready to walk into the school. So it's not just what they see when they get inside the school, but it should be an entire experience from when they turn into your driveway. You know, exactly. what is this school about? Can you actually see what it's about in your environment? And if you are a sitting principal, we can help you uh, with rebranding. Or if you're a new principal, that's something we can help you with as well. Because like Tammy said, I had been at my school previously and one of the um, gentlemen that worked there uh, made a joke and said, well, this is like um, a, a, your girlfriend moving in because now it's gone from an old locker room to now we can tell a lady lives here. Now he was joking, um, but there were lots of changes that you could tell that a the, the appeal was a little bit different. And the, the principal prior, he uh, had done a good job as well, but I just made some changes to make sure that appeal was there because the things that people see are very important. And that um, does start with the curb appeal. Um, we did does. some outside. Um, we, our school sits on a really pretty campus, um, as does Sheikah's. So it, it isn't that ours is that uh, much different than what hers is. But we had to do some things outside as well that changed kind of, again, that atmosphere. Um, we were able to redirect and create. We have a new uh, parking area because that was one of the other things that happened. Um, when you came, when you drove up, that it was frustrating because you never could find a space to park. And we redid the parking area and had a new um, welcoming 
at the front door as as the Sheikah and um, her staff, they have posters and things that say who you are. And those are throughout the building and classrooms. And um, those things are really, really super important. And I saw that uh, Principal Hurt said that Principal Presley is really good at branding. And we know that uh, you're a champion there, Principal Presley. So thank you guys. And thank you all for the support. Um, again, we are booking by two phenomenons. So yes. we are moving out of you guys' way because in just a few minutes, you're going to be able to log on for um, some more and amazing PD from Principal Cafele. And just so you'll know what to expect in the coming weeks, uh, we will be giving you information that goes along with Create and Educate's Five Super Strengths to Become a Resilient School. Um, we really feel like uh, these things will help you as far as making sure that you have a school that's going to have a, a sound foundation and that you're able to really make sure that your instructional leadership is in place, too. So if you have not already purchased um, our books from our website, if you would go to create and educate dot solutions and pick up a copy of the book. We have information on there about being instructional leaders as well as changing the culture at your school. So this information will continue to go into that. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to build that respect uh, with your communication plans from your parents, from the staff members and your communications plan with your students. All of those things are very important in your messaging. And if you don't have a strong foundation for those things, your messaging can get distorted. And again, that goes along with your brand. So we are thankful that you all joined us today. Thank you, uh, Principal Hurt, for all of his support. Uh, Principal Cafele has been definitely a mentor and a, a supporter. So we appreciate you all joining yeah. us. Thank you guys so much. Yes, log on to uh, Principal Cafele. He is coming on at uh, 1055. So thank you guys so much. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Enjoy your Saturday.